All right, this is the 1987 248 walk around Mako with the 2016 aluminum sea line trailer, bunk trailer, disc brakes. You got the torsion axles on here, so no spring leaves. Got the upgraded LED trailer guide. Works well, very bright at night, especially if you leave early in the morning. To Suzuki 254 stroke, 2016 with only 48 hours. Stainless steel prop. I added a dolphin, which is a removable and non-drill, so you could take that off if you want. Boat comes with dual ladders in the back along with the Armstrong bracket, full closed transom. You got the Bennett actuators right here. These are new. These were put in this year They're for the electronic indicator. The tabs are actually the same size with the kit. Uh, I never swapped them out, but I do include the uh, other trim tabs as well. Got the Spectrum underwater lights, which really, really light up the water at night and they change multiple colors. So you could actually pick the color you want or just have it go in a cycle. So we're gonna hop on the boat. The hull shines really nice, had it detailed in the beginning of the season. Added a boat buckle for more safety. Thing was pretty much taken care of this boat I added four of these rod holders slash cup holders in the transom here so you have more rod storage you got a raw water wash down which was installed as well this will lead you to your fuel filter and battery turn that on this will give you access to your live well optional I actually installed that you could put on it off a 13 gallon live well so if you want to go fishing I think it takes about five minutes to install I could leave these or take them off these Yeti brackets I had a Yeti cooler with a seat on there so I used it as a fish box and an extra seat so it's up to you if you want that uh, stay on there Yeti coolers are not included with the sale you have more Lee rod holders here, all brand new. Same thing on this side. This is a polycarbonate hardtop from Atlantic Taros, aluminum frame. You got four rocket launches. The space right here I took off, it'll come with a radar mount and you can put it on, but it is included. You got your Lumatech. Floodlights, you got two in the aft and two in the bow. I'll have another video, tie electronic box. This closure is really nice, you can fit four people, very comfortable. Low wrench link eight system. I can get the cover off. Everything works. You got your Kenwood radio with kicker speakers which at night has the blue LED light which looks really nice as you can see it here in the video um, there's another Lumatech light that changes multiple colors the Simrad Evo 2 is a 7 inch touchscreen this will be included in the boat with the trip I will also be taking this Simrad 12 inch out but I will be providing a Garmin 12 inch touchscreen that will be coming from the boat I am upgrading with this steering wheel is upgraded with the sterning knob. This boat control. You got here, you got raw water wash down. Your bilge in the front, which all the pumps were replaced in the beginning of this year. So I got a total of uh, three pumps, two in the bilge, which one's automatic, one's manual, and one in the front, which just has an automatic switch, and you could do it manual as well. The lights here for the underwater lights, and then you have bait well pumps. This is the fly-by wire. This was actually more money to add. 
You can just push your finger here. There's no cables, just a wire that plugs in. It's awesome. These two gauges over here, they do not work. Uh, they were just there just so I don't have a hole in the boat when the old motor was pulled out. But the fuel tank will work. I can actually turn this on. So you can see here about a half a tank. The boat has a 150 gallon tank, so you got about 70 gallons in here. And this is a electronic system right here. Show your database. Good windless. I bought this because it's made in America. You have a lot of anchor road and chain with a nice anchor. The switches, everything here work. You got your Bennett electronic trim tabs, and then here's the automatic trim tab. So you can turn this on, and then you could just set the trim tabs and it will do it automatically. You want to zero it out. Now you zeroed it out. Now it will keep the boat balanced. You don't have to mess with the trim tab yourself. It's a great, nice feature and uh, something you like. Now, this boat will be coming with a Nella pedestal exactly like this with a brand new cushion. This cushion was added this year. It might be a little dirty, but it is new. Uh, the Yeti Cool I put here mainly because when you're with this boat, it's hard to get in and out of the cabin freely. This way it serves two purposes. It serves the seat, holds the drinks, and you get more room to get in and out of the cabin. So, everything was here. All the cushions here, brand new. Might be a little dirty from the season. Um, this is the, the bow cushion from the front. You got the, just that way to protect a little blanket, but you have the green uh, cushions here. This actually could be a bunk or raise the uh, table as in the pictures. You hold your more supplies over here. Toilet. The water does not work in this boat. I never hooked it up, but you do have Peral here that I hooked up and the toilet works. Everything's brand new. This is custom made. This, uh, shower curtain so it gives you more protection and you can close it over here for any significant others that want to utilize it all the lights inside the boat are led i swapped everything out to led so you got a sink here i added a 12 volt and a usb so you can charge your cell phones drawers here and hold stuff and don't mind the leaves this time of year the leaves somehow find the side of the boat even though i have the canvas on as you see here 